I'm silly and I'm grown and that makes me the silly grown up. Hello, Bianca here with Silly Grown Up, coming to you with another tip that'll save your life. I love being so dramatic. Also, I wanted to ask you, hey, if you guys like my video and you guys like my tips and what I have to say, please subscribe to my channel. I know I'm just getting started and I have one subscriber, which I'm so happy about, but I'm telling you right now, if you like it, you'll be glad that you added me because now, especially now that school started, I will be having more and more tips for you. Okay, so without further ado, today I'm gonna to be talking about a kid's command center. This is gonna be a way to help you out during the day all day, even at nighttime, um, to get your kids going and to actually get their chores put on here. This is where I've told my children that if I don't see it on here, if they don't put something on here, it doesn't exist and it doesn't get done. So this is where they're gonna put everything that comes home from school, anything that I need to look at, because I have three children and so I'm not gonna be digging in their backpack and asking them every day because we all know things get very busy and we forget. So, like right here, my son has brought me his snack schedule because we have to provide snacks for the school. Great, it's clipped on, it's magnetized, I'll see it because in the mornings when I come down here, I look at it and make sure it's not something I have to get done. So, on the sides here, I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but it's just, um, I have a system, and this right here is hanging up, and these are chores. Now, those are extra chores that are not all due in one day. What I have done is I put all on one side right here what needs to be done in the morning so as you see here I have make your bed uh, eat your breakfast get lunch get dressed brush your teeth my son is eight years old so he's constantly forgetting this way though they see it and when they're done with it they just clip it on the other side so they know that in the mornings they can't leave the house until all of this is done so I think it helps out and once they do leave then they'll come home to more stuff on here because that's where I go ahead and put their chores for the day. So I have chores that say like take out the trash, vacuum the living room, empty the recycling, so on and so forth. And um, like I said, this is just a cookie sheet that you can buy at the dollar store. I've painted it, I've painted the sides, and I've picked a little scrapbook paper on here. And um, I use Mod Podge, which is this. Mod Podge, if I can show you. I use Mod Podge on top to get that little shine and to keep it all down. And um, these are clothespins, obviously. And I just printed these little pe pieces of papers out and glued them on with glue. So it did take a while, but I'm telling you right now, it works. Because as I said, I have three children. They look at this, they do it, they clip it on the other side and it keeps them entertained. It's not something they're, they're going to not want to do later because again, you have to discipline. So if they don't get this done, then they get another chore when they get home. Okay. So again, you can do whatever you want to do, whatever will work for you guys. But this is a perfect thing for us and our family. Now I'm also going to show you my little girls because she is four years old and Obviously, she can't read perfectly, so I have these that have a picture. Of course, it's upside down. Put, fold and put away your laundry. You know, brush your teeth. All the same concept I have on here, but I have pictures instead of just words, you know, and that way they'll be associating words with pictures too. Now, I've taken it a step further. I bought magnets, uh, business card magnets, that you can stick a business card in the front and instead I stuck other things to it. I'll show you right now. And these, I have them stuck right on the door. See, the door is right next to their little center. So if they're bad, then I tell them to pl pluck one of these off and stick it on. This one's my favorite. My son, he gets angry when, with the girls. So if he wants to get fussy and angry and get all mad, I'll say, fine, put one on. And all you have to do is stick it on here. It sticks on, so we know for that day he was angry. And also I have, I was whining. This is of course more for my four-year-old. I have a regular, you know, little bad boy timeout, go in the corner thing. And I have, I didn't listen, I was naughty, and the angry guy. 
And I'm telling you right now, it's a good way also to discipline without having to beat them, yell at them over and over. I'm telling you right now, the worst punishment I think I can give them is to tell them to go get one. Go get a, I was whining and put it on your board. Oh my God, that's the end of the world for them. And then you come up with what will work for you. Like if you get two of those in a day, no TV. Or if you get three of them, you get no um, video games or you can't do this or you can't do that. You take away their privileges. That way, I know sometimes we're on the couch and we don't wanna have to get up or we're cooking and we're trying to get dinner ready or anything. And you hear the uh, two of your kids, mom, she's not listening, she's doing this, da, da, da. And you give them your warning, knock it off. And then the second time you do it, if you don't go and take care of it, then they're going to know that they can just do whatever they want and mom's not going to do anything but scream and yell, knock it off, you better do this or you better do that. This way, you can just tell them, go get an I was whining, go get a magnet and put it on your board. That way, I'm telling you right now, you don't have to deal with it right then because you're telling them to go get a magnet, it's actually taken care of, but then you can discipline them at the end of the day or when you're done cooking or doing whatever. Because as soon as they're told to get that magnet, they're done. They're not gonna keep fussing, they're not gonna keep crying. Some of them do depending on the age, but they'll learn their consequences. So when they ask, Mama, can I watch TV? You say, do you have any magnets? And if they do, you can say, I'm sorry, you know, you didn't listen. And then you can talk about that. So. I hope you enjoyed this version of Silly Grown Up. I will be having a tutorial on my um, page to explain to you how I did all of that. And that's it. Like I said, please pass me on, share my tips, and subscribe to my page. Send me a comment. Ask me you know, if there's anything you want me to do or give you a tip on or give you any answers. Ask me. I would love to have some ideas that you guys need to know about. Okay? Thank you.